I'm Giorgio and... My name is Martina. We come from uh, Trento, Northern Italy. And uh, we are organizing a project which teaches refugees how to translate and edit Wikipedia entries in their languages. Maybe. They can increase their digital skills in general. They learn a lot uh, about uh, how to use the internet just by being active on Wikipedia. And uh, what is also important for us is that uh, they can contribute to their uh, community back home. If they translate articles from Italian, which is the country where they are now, to their own home languages, they, they just uh, contribute to increasing the knowledge of their communities back home. And yeah, and the same. really excited about it. At the same time, they have a more sense of inclusion in our culture and in our... Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the main problem is that we, gi we give a lot of concept uh, as granted. And yeah, exactly. For example, uh, for us, uh, a concept that is granted is uh, encyclopedian uh, uh, knowledge, Encyclo encyclopedic knowledge, and yeah. So for them it's something that is really difficult to understand. It's something that they don't have uh, what in is their culture. What yes. is, what, what, who has the truth? Uh, for many cultures, somebody has to hold the truth. So uh, teaching people that truth is something that can be discussed about, <laughs> exactly. agreed upon by a democratic process, yeah. uh, is something we love to explain through games through practical activities that way the message gets across way easy, more easily and after this uh, experience this process on their own they understand the concept I would say data journalism is you've got to have it but alone by itself it's it's not necessarily enough if the people who are, who are going through the data and writing are not aware of their audience. I have so many questions. Like, what do we actually want to do right now? Uh, and there are some things like, yes, get more people to use more encryption and change their passwords all the time. There are things that are, are simple that we can ask people to do. But really, that is not going to stop Trump. Uh, and so one of the things actually to do right now um, is actually slow down a little bit as things speed up and deal with some of the dilemmas that we're facing politically and actually figure out what are some different outcomes we want. The one that I've been thinking a lot about and have a lot of conversations here is you know, we come from the open source movement very much believing in openness and, and free speech, right? The idea is this is a platform for people to express themselves, to innovate. We're now very clearly in a world, Trump being a, a prime example, where equality and inclusion and freedom, freedom of speech and openness really are at odds. And the, the answer, I think, for us is not going to be to just stick with the values we started with of just freedom and openness and privacy and anonymity. You have to deal with that tension and come up with action that respects that. And it's why Mitchell's looking at, she's running a session tomorrow, I'll plug, on what's called the Mozilla Worldview, looking at adding things like an inclusive uh, society that involves and invites everyone into the manifesto because just the original values around openness are not enough to build a digital world that actually does include and welcome all of us. Uh, in fact, it's, it's going in very much the opposite direction. Yeah, I mean, we just went through this process at Wikipedia and Wikimedia, the community more broadly around thinking about where do we want to be by 2030. And I can, you know, the answers are sort of, I think, speak to what Mark just said around. We actually started talking about equity as a major value of ours. And I think that what's interesting, and it sort of speaks to Ryan's point, is that we can media, for us, the vision statement is a world in which every single human can freely share in the sum of all knowledge. So that implied equity as a value is in there. It's a world-changing vision. It says nothing about an encyclopedia. But, you know, and I think that we were quite radical when we started in, in, in some sense and embraced that radicalness. And then we got comfortable. And now I think we have to be radical again. And then I would also say, and I know it's already come up in the word world cloud, word cloud, 
just, we really need to invest in being more inclusive communities, and we really need to invest in better representation from all different walks of life, all different lived experiences. It's ridiculous to me on some level that the three of us are all from North America sitting up here telling anybody what a global movement needs to be. Where are we? RSA. Well, we are in the RSA house. Today was, uh, today was great. Um, I got to participate in a lot of interesting discussions, but yeah, I was mostly sleepy. And now you're double fisted. I think I deserve a little bit of time out, you know? in the open community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, half my life. Almost exactly. How did you get lured into this dangerous lifestyle? Bad homework. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> It, I suppose it is a it is a bad lifestyle. It's bad, but uh, yeah, but uh, no, I I was doing some really dodgy homework and really bored of the way that they taught us to do it. So I was I was not Google searching, AOL searching, but uh, I was doing that and stumbled and kept hitting the word Firefox. So I download it and then its first run page had ways to get involved, uh, including a community forum all the way back then. So. Oh god, 2005? Long time ago. Long, long time ago. In the internet age, prehistoric. Uh, but yeah, no, so I was doing that, and then on the first run page, how do I get involved? Including a community forum. So I sit on the forum and I read a couple of messages, and after a while, I start replying to them, and then after a while, I start creating them. And then someone goes, Oh, you've got a little bit of coding skills. I'm like, eh, just about. Yeah, we had this idea. I was like, yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. I'll post that on the forum, see if anyone will make it. No one did, so I made it. So then I started creating stuff. And what was the just, first thing you made? Uh, it was a Valentine's Day e-card when e-cards were still a thing. Data is the new bacon. <laughs>